What is up, everybody? It's Klaus, and we're chilling on my mini account, Jasper, and he's a Town Hall 7. Well, actually, he's like a barely, he's like a rushed Town Hall 7 because he just went to Town Hall 7. He was a rushed Town Hall 6, which is, uh, okay, he wasn't rushed. I mean, all the buildings and stuff are Town Hall 6 level, but the walls are, are bad. It's, <laughs> the reason why they're bad is because I don't have time to farm two accounts, and you know me, I'm farming the heck out of my, my main account, which is Town Hall 9, which I just got 15 queen. So, so many things are happening on that account that this account just really gets left behind. So, Right now, as you can see, my shop button has 67 red notifications on there. That means I've got 67 new buildings to build. And so today's episode, we're going to start those. I'm going to talk my way through how I start building a brand new town hall. So this used to be town hall six. It just went to town hall seven. Let's see what we got available to us. And then we can start all these upgrades. I've got four builders for a town hall seven, which is pretty good. And um, I probably don't have enough loot to start all these buildings, but we're going to do our best. Now I've got Bart's. I've got Bart's trained up, so if I need to, I can go get some more loot, but anyway. So, resources. The first things first, guys. Dark Elixir Storage and Dark Elixir Drill. That's uh, that's kind of a big deal, but they're very, very expensive upgrades, so let's, for, let's ignore that for now. Army Camp. That will probably always be number one priority when it comes to, uh, you know, new, new buildings. Of course, the laboratory is number one priority for uh, existing buildings, so let's go ahead and start that. That's a five-minute upgrade. Uh, barracks. We got 10-second upgrade there. We'll definitely do that. Um, what else do we need to do? We got a, a Barbarian King at 10,000 Dark Elixir, which we do not have yet. Uh, we don't even... <laughs> I think the total capacity we have is 2,500 Dark Elixir. So, anyway, Dark Barracks, 70, uh, 750,000 Elixir. That's that's too much. And defenses. Uh, look at this. We've got, we got a Baby Cannon. We can go ahead and do that. That's cheap, right? And this is how I start every single... New, oh, we get two new cannons. That's cool. Let's go ahead and put that there. So, how I start every single, and if you watch my upgrade priority list videos, you'll know that I always prioritize the new buildings because you need to build a, a new design for your base by using the new walls, which we'll go ahead and build now. Uh, I believe there are 25, and that's the wrong direction. There we go. Come on, buddy. You get 25 brand new walls, I believe, whenever you go to Town Hall 7. I actually, it said it right there, and I just didn't look at it, so it might be 50. If if it's 50, then that's awesome. I mean, look, think about all the things you can do with 50 new walls, right? Uh, it must be 50, because this is a 44 across, so... Come on, buddy, come on. There we go. Yeah, okay, so it's 50 new walls. That's, that's a lot of new walls. <laughs> We're going to have to definitely incorporate them into the base soon. Let's go back into two defenses. We get a new mortar. It's an eight hour upgrade, so we'll put that on hold for a second. This is a, uh, the cannon is a zero second upgrade, so that's awesome. And, um, that's pretty much it for like the cheap. Ooh, ooh, hey, uh, giant bomb. We, we, we want that. That's good stuff. We, that's good stuff. We, well, you know what is so good about giant bombs is it's super effective against hogs, which is now available to people as Town Hall 7s. So, well, actually, it's been that way for a while, but um, it's now available to people that you're going to be fighting against um, anytime you're going out in multiplayer. So anyway, you get Teslas, you get two of them for a million gold apiece. We'll put that on hold for now. Um, air defense, five hours, 22,500. We can go ahead and start that because I've got plenty of builders. So let's go ahead. Uh, air defense is for show. That's, I don't know what that means, but it is for show. And the mortar. It's an eight hour upgrade. Cool. So this builder will be done in two minutes and 43 seconds. I've got one more builder left. What do we want to do with that builder? I've got uh, two one day upgrades that are a million gold. I've got, I don't have enough dark looks for that, but I got 750,000 elixir for that. And I would upgrade, or I would release or, you know, uh, un unlock. There you go. I would unlock the minions if I did that. Or... All those, like the Dark Elixir infrastructure, um, which I really can't afford at this point. I, I will have to uh, do some farming on this on this account, which I never do. Like I said, I never farm on this account. I need to. You guys deserve to see some Town Hall 7 material. I just never do it. So anyway, that that is the, uh, you know, the easiest way to start because I've got all these new buildings. These two will be done later today. Uh, this one will be done in about a minute and we'll start another upgrade. What about the collectors and mines? See, for me, personally, because I don't farm on this account, these are extremely important. Cool. So for four days, this thing will be upgrading and I have... It's only going to cost me 168,000 elixir, so that's not bad. I'll probably, me personally, I'll probably be upgrading the collectors and mines probably first. Uh, what about the cannon? 1,000 gold, 15-minute upgrade, not bad. 
Uh, 2,000 gold. 30 minute upgrade. That's not bad either. Um, what about the Eberic? You know, 1,000 elixir, 15 minute upgrade. So, you know, here's the rule for anytime you start a new town hall, you always do your new buildings first. Actually, you know what we need to do? Actually, this. 50,000, 500,000 elixir, and it's going to be done in two days. You know what? Laboratory is always priority one. So let's go ahead and just start that. There we go. So in two days, we'll have the new laboratory and we will start a new research project, which is uh, absolutely essential for new town halls. Um, we got we got 53 seconds until that uh, new army camp is done and we'll start another upgrade. I wish I had... Um, well, I, I used to have enough elixir for that. <laughs> um, goodness, guys. You know, starting a new town hall is exciting, but it is sure a lot of work. Because for me, now that I'm a town hall 9, I'm used to buildings being days and days to upgrade. But now, you know, we got buildings like this that are like 30 minutes and I got to be constantly on this account, which I'm not. It's just not what I do. But um, what about... Oh, I've got no no builders. But if I was to upgrade all these walls to level two it cost me forty four thousand gold which is totally worth it i think um i don't have a builder yet but as soon as i have a builder i'll go ahead and do that i'll go the i'll do these as well and um and then i will start one of these buildings and then talk you through what i'll be doing i have a town hall 7 base design that i want to use and uh that'll come either in a, a base build for you guys or i'll just do it and then show y'all next time i log on to this account but there you go so there's level two walls uh 220 000 gold for level three walls can we afford that yeah we can let's do that and uh 30 000 for that there we go and then this is probably going to be too expensive 440 000 gold actually we can afford that we can but should we should we afford that that's a that's a life lesson right there not just in clash in life <laughs> uh okay so these two buildings are going to be upgrading for hours. This one up here will be building for a day. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this one builder to do all the little upgrades. All the little ones are going to, that are going to take a couple of minutes. Here's a one hour upgrade for a plus 10 troop capacity. That is extremely high priority. But uh, starting with what's going to take the least amount of time to upgrade first. We got several 15 minute upgrades at six hours. What is this one? That doesn't even have an upgrade. Um, so... Let's go ahead and do this cannon. It's cheap. It's going to take 15 minutes. 15 minutes from now, I'll do the neck, the other cannon. And I'm just going to walk my way up the list. I mean, this one is a 15 minute as well. These are 15 minute. That's 30 minute. And what I'll do is I'll continue upgrading these buildings based upon what is going to take the least amount of time to upgrade. Until finally, you know, I need to, because it's late, I need to make sure I start all my upgrades that are going to be at least eight hours. That way, nothing stops at the end of the, you know, in the middle of the night and you know, that that's always a pain. So let's go ahead, since we don't have any more like really short upgrades to, to do. Um, you know what I'm surprised about? I'm surprised I didn't get another elixir collector or gold mine. That's really surprising. But anyway, so let's go ahead and start this cannon. I'm not going to have any other builders left in this build in this uh, in this uh, video, but let's go in and just find a barch raid. I don't want to just talk in and mess around with my base this whole time. I don't have barch, so it's not all that impressive. But guess what? Tunnel seven really not all that impressive whenever it comes to uh, farming. I've got Barch. I could do Giga Barch if you're familiar with that. Um, but, you know, we do what we do. So let's go in and find a, a base. You know what's bad, guys, is I <laughs> have no idea what's... I have no idea what's standard. I'm, I'm kind of just aiming for at least 100,000 gold in Elixir. Um, but that might not be enough. I guess it'll just depend on what I find and what I don't find. Right now, the highest I've found was like 80,000 gold in Elixir. And I've only been searching for about a minute. But, um... Or there's a, there's a bunch of elixir right there. This is a tunnel six too, uh, but we need gold. I, I would say that was probably main priority right now. Ooh, yeah. Oh nope. That's uh that's not a barge friendly uh base right there. <laughs> uh, that base would kill us. We'd poop on us. You know what I mean? So um, what do we want to find? Hundred thousand at least in the mines and collectors. That would be ideal. There we go. I have been patient, and I found a Town Hall 6 with a ton of loot, at least a ton for Town Hall 7 standard. So we'll go ahead and take these corner buildings out first, and then simple barge. Step 1, Barbarians, four finger deployment, top and bottom, and then wrap around the base. That is barge number 2, is Archer's same song and dance. And we're going to see how much of this loot we can get. Uh, 
I apologize, I know Bart is not interesting and a lot of you guys are probably bored or whatever, but this is how it's done. Everybody does this because it works. You know what I mean? I mean, I could lie to y'all and like throw together a crazy army comp, you know, uh, army composition and just like completely blow y'all's minds and stuff and say this is how I farm, but it's not. I mean, everybody farms the same way. They use cheap, easy, simple armies. And that's how it works, guys. So don't want to disappoint you, but this is how it is. Uh, Town Hall 7, especially because you're just now getting into the Dark Elixir realm. So there's not a whole lot of choices. You got dragons, but they're way too expensive to farm with. So uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just a struggle. So if we can get in here, uh, the man, that, oh man, that mortar ruined our, our day. If we could get into the walls, that would be nice, but apparently not. Ah, uh, okay. Well, hey, that's kind of like a four-leaf clover if you look at that base. All right, so let's get out of here. 171,000 gold, 147,000 elixir, and nine full trophies. I'm, I'm so used to saying and dark elixir. So that's how you farm, guys. It's a cheap army, and it gives you loot. And look at that. I finally got a league. I'm in Silver League 2. Booyah. I like Silver League. Uh, let me collect... Now, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Um, now that I've gotten a little bit of loot, I, I, I've actually remembered how fun uh, lower-level town halls are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to post one of these, like, Jasper upgrade videos and, and farming videos and stuff once a week. Uh, let's let's assume it'll be Tuesday. To, you know, today's Tuesday. And uh, so be looking forward to that. If you really like these lower-level town hall upgrade videos and, and farming videos and stuff, please let me know in the comments section below and give me some advice on how to farm as a town hall 7. If you have any ideas or something I haven't mentioned, because it has been a while since I have been uh, town hall 7. And um, leave a like on the video, because the more likes the videos get, the more it signifies to me whether I should do them that type of video or not. And uh, so basically what I'm saying is your input is paramount. I absolutely rely on what y'all think, what y'all want, because I'm here to entertain you. So like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and subscribe if you want more daily Clash content. We also started that Minecraft series a couple of days ago. Be sure to check that out. It will be posted every, I believe it's Friday night. Um, and also if you learned something, uh, you know, doing uh, the beginnings of a new town hall, is always fun we've you know we've got new buildings to build i've got uh, nine minutes till my builder is ready to go it's gonna be fun guys so uh oh and also let me know if you want to see that town hall 7 base build for farming because i will be building a base here and it's going to be probably the best base on the planet i'm just saying <laughs> anyway guys that's it for me today guys sorry it was so simple i'm, I'm pressed for time as always and uh really not a whole lot to do while i'm using up all my builders. So <laughs> that is all for me. Love you guys. And I will see y'all again tomorrow. Peace.